Hey folks, uh, Roman is here. Uh, today is going to be a really quick video. I have a request in my Facebook. Uh, a friend of mine, he wants to know how I put the eyes in the jig heads for crappies and how I dip it in a call, clear, clear call to shine that. So I have here a um, couple jigs here in my hand. If you can see red, orange, blue, green, black, you name it. So I want to put ice in this and I want to dip it in a, in a clear call. So this is the ones I want to do here. So I want to put this in the side here. Okay. And this is the ones I already did a couple weeks ago. If you can see the difference, uh, people want to know how, how that um, deep call comes really clear and really shiny it looks really nice if you can see this uh, comes really handy really nice colors uh, crappy loves these little colors here so I want to put this in a way here and I don't want to do one by one an easy way to do it okay so if you can see here in my table I have uh, so many uh, package here I ordered this in eBay. This come from China. Um, I think it's uh, three forty nine for a hundred and eighty three pieces uh, package. I have different colors here. I have blue here. I have here um, yellow and green. I have here a yes a normal color like a clear color here. So let's go put this away, guys. And I want to show you step by step here, guys. Um, first of all, I want to I want to show you guys the easy way you can do it because I see many videos on YouTube the way people do it. Um, I really not recommend it, but I will recommend this. Okay, easy way to do it. Look at this. Check this out. Um, so I want to grab one of those here. Okay, want to grab this flat head here. You see this. So you want to do is grab a needle, any needle you have, just grab a needle and take one, one eye, okay? It's easy way to do it. And then grab the jig head, okay? And just put it right here and top of that, okay? Just put it right there and that's it. And then just put it right there in the center here and then just push that down okay and then go the other side and again with the needle here it's easy to bring the eye with the needle and put it right here and top it up that's it and then just push it and this is already ready to deep in a in a in a clear call and i want to show you guys how to do it so I want to do the second here, okay? For this, I want to put some uh, blue eyes in this. Uh, so I have already two here ready to go in a needle. If you can see, just put in the top. And it's on, my friend. Really easy, guys. Really easy. Look at that. It's already done, okay? And then turn around this on the other side. Grab another, another uh, eye and put it right there in the top, in the center right there. And just push that out, put it in the center right there, and then just squish that. And this is ready to deep and the, and the clear call. I want to show you guys how to do it. I want to do the second here. Let's do a different color here. Let's do, let's do this uh, gray color here with black. This is a Texas Mino head jig here. It's a simple and easy, guys. I have another uh, eye here. Put it right there on top. And that's it. And just push it down. And that's it, guys. And then turn around. And then grab another eye. And put it right there on top of that. And then just... Bring it in, put it in, and then push it down. That's all you need. Huh? You see that? Really easy and simple, guys. Okay? 
It's not really hard to do it. I'm telling you guys. Okay. Okay. So I got already what five here. Let's go. Let's go do another one. Let's go do the uh, a black and green and red. I really like that color. Okay. Next time I want to make a video for you guys how to um, make the um, painting jigs. So let's grab one eye here with the needle again. You see this? Easy way to do it, guys. Really simple and easy. Just put it on there and just put it down. If you can see, ready to go. And turn around the other side, grab another eye with your needle fish. I mean, your needle here. Needle fish, I'm sorry. And then just put it right there on top and then just squish it. You see that? Squish it that really good. That's it. Okay. Now, I got five here. I want to put this away here. So this is what I want to do here. I have this, I make this my own. So I have this little uh, piece of plywood with a little uh, wire here. That's where I want to hang up those uh, jig heads on there to dry off. Okay. This is the, the clear diamond that I use here. Finish call here. Uh, now, when you do this, you're not doing this inside in your house. You have to do this in the garage. Uh, make sure the temperature is 53 or 55 degrees. Not too hot, but not too cold. Um, I like this because after this dry off, it tastes like it looks really shiny. It looks like a glass and it stays really, really hard. Um, I really recommend this. This has come from eBay. I ordered this last year, I think. And uh, let's go open up and let's go dip those little jigs there. So you're just gonna need this uh, painting thing to open this. So remember, you cannot leave your jigs inside in your house because this is smell really strong. And you, especially if you have, if you, if you have kids, you, want, you don't wanna smell that with your kids inside in the house. So I put this here. I have a paper towel here. So let's grab a jig here, guys. Okay, really easy, guys. Okay, so I have a one jig here. Just dip it really slow. Really slow. And then bring it in. And just let it drip down there in the, in the, the same uh, container. Let it drip off a little bit. Um, and then just... Bring it in with your paper towel and just dry it just a little bit, just a little touch up, just to dry the one in the bottle. It is where it come from, look. Really, really shiny. I really like those colors. And just bring you little plywood that I make here, guys. And just hang it up down here. Just like that. If you can see, I don't see the camera sees that. Just like that. Okay, and let's put this away here. And you wanna do the second. And let's do this here, the black, red, and orange here, and green here. I wanna do a couple here. And again, dip it really slow. And then take that off. Let it drip it twice. And then just bring your jig here, here put the paper towel, just go like this. Just to touch enough to touch the bottle of the jig right there. And that's it. And let it dry here. And look at this. How shiny and glass look that. I really like that color. And let's put it right here and hang up. And let's do the second here, the third here. This is the one, uh, the blue eye. I really like this. Uh, comes really nice. Um, and again, dip it really slow. And bring it in really slow. Make sure it drips the twice. And then and just bring your paper towel here and just do a couple touch ups to the paper towel. And that's it. And look at that. Comes really glass, like a shiny color. Look at that. Um, that's why when I make videos down there, when I tie my jigs, that's that's why those jigs look so shiny and glassy because this uh, diamond uh, 
uh, coal here that I dip it. Uh, this, let's do this blue with a uh, black and orange here. Flat head. Dip it really slow and just bring it in. Make sure it drops twice. And then just touch up with the paper towel on there a couple of times. And that should be plenty enough to look at that. Look how shiny it is. Look at how glass it is. And just put it over here by my little plywood that I make there, homemade there. Let's go, let's do the, the last one here. This is the black and gray color that I make. Uh, pretty soon I start tying more jigs down there in my YouTube channel. Okay, let's dip them up really slow. Okay, bring it in. Let it drip twice. Okay, and then just touch up right here in the lip and the thing there and just dry up a little bit twice. And that's it. Look how glass looks this. You see that? I really like that. Okay. So make you sure when you're done with this, um, you have to put plastic wrap around the top here because if you don't, don't do this, the air, it can go to that material and then it's going to be uh, not good. Uh, yes. Uh, make sure you cover that really good. And then put it away somewhere else that nobody's going to uh, touch that, especially kids down there. Okay. So I want to show you guys the uh, the jigs that I just make now with my little little handle thing here. You see that? Just put it right there in the wall and let it dry out for 48 hours at least. And after 48 hours, those jigs stay it's strong, it stays really nice. Look at all these jigs that I make a couple of weeks ago, ready to tie up in my YouTube channel uh, for you guys. Of course, for you guys, huh? Look at how glassy it looks. Look at how nice those colors. I have a couple in my bag here, uh, different colors. This is ready to tie up my YouTube channel, different colors, um, you name it. So, I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. Please make a comment what you guys think about this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for every single subscriber from you guys. I really like the, the way you comment, the way you like the video. And remember, more thumbs up, more videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.